messing up. Okay, so we can image breakouts via well logging. So that, you know, I think you've all had well logging. So what you're looking at here is sort of an unwrapped uh, televiewer image, uh, looking at uh, on the left the the P wave, uh, the P wave uh, responses, velocities, and then electrical re resistivity. So uh, and they both have clear indications of breakouts. So remember, this is unwrapped. So there's sort of, you know, this is north, east, south, west. So the breakouts here occur roughly in 180 degrees from each other in both cases. So in this case, uh, this this has to do the, in the electro resistivity log. There's, you know, literally a pad that touches the side of the wellbore, and it loses contact in those regions, and, and that's why you see those dropouts. And so, you know, with very very careful um, interpretation of this kind of data, you can you can actually create uh, a sketch, if you will, of of the wellbore, and you can clearly see the breakout regions on either side, and you can get some indication of the breakout angle there, the breakout width. Likewise, uh, there's a standard sort of uh, tool called a for forearm caliper. And it's really exactly what it sounds like. There's four arms that drag the side of the wellbore, and from those you can you can gather information. So, uh, you know, over here is the actual caliper data, and so I think this is like an eight-inch wellbore. So the wellbore wall is here, and so all of these sort of readings to the right of that of this line, uh, all of these readings indicate some. Uh, with you know, with that particular caliper, some uh, wellbore diameter greater than eight inches, right? and so this caliper is actually dragging along, uh, you know, a breakout, and then you know, there's a very clear indication right here, that the, in this region, that the breakouts there's no breakouts, that the breakouts uh, disappear for some reason, you know, it could just be associated with going through a different formation where the strength of the rock is, is higher, right? It hit some layer of shale or something. The strength of the rock is higher and there's no breakouts in that region. And so then if you look at the, you know, what, what's what been interpreted from these readings, the form caliber readings, then you see these um, breakout azimuths uh, and clearly no breakouts in this region. And it, it just, you know, um, the last point, you, you don't, it, it takes careful interpretation of the results to know that you're really seeing a breakout. So a breakout, you know, what we talk about breakouts is always a clearly uh, indication of these sort of uh, loss of material, and they always occur on either, on both sides of the wellbore at 180 degrees from each other, okay? So... That's as opposed to a washout. So a washout would be a basically a total loss of wellbore stability. And washouts can occur, for, you know, initially there's breakouts, but the, the material becomes is, is so weak that eventually the breakout width becomes so wide that it eventually leads to a washout, right? And of course, washouts are bad. This is going to basically lead to a collapse of the wellbore on your, on your tool, and then you have to set casing or do something to correct that or deviate the well. And then also there's key seats, and these are typically associated with deviated or, or horizontal wells. And this would be what, you know, could appear to be a breakout, but only on one side of the well. And this is typically, again, associated with horizontal drilling, where you have part of the drill string laying on one side of the wellbore. Um, and so as it's laying on one side of the wellbore and rotating, it, you know, it causes friction, which can cause a little kind of key seat to occur on one side of the wellbore, right? So this is this is not a breakout, and, you know, if you see that in, in your caliper data and other things, then we don't want to interpret it as a breakout and then try to make in inferences about the stress, the state of stress in the wellbore, right? So I guess with that, I kept you guys late 